So today's been very eventful. I woke up at five o'clock this morning. I drove all the way to San Luis, drove to Pismo, Morro Bay area. I went to Hearst Castle. We looked at Hearst Castle today, and let me tell you, it's just a big old, it's a big old castle on top of a big old hill with a bunch of like ranch space all around. Now before we go up there, this is a fit that I'm wearing today. It's tapestry hoodie that I made with the fringes and just Hurley shorts. And then you got the, the Star Wars. Star Wars kicks on if you haven't seen that video before let's go they own like 35 square miles of property I don't know how much acre acreage is in a square mile but they own that you could pretty much see as far as you could go you own all that so they got this big huge castle just in the middle of nowhere looks over the beach and it's like this big old castle then all these buildings around it I mean, this dude had an outside pool. He had an inside pool. My guy had a movie theater. So we first walk in, right? And it's a big old, like, big old family room, big old living room. It's like as big as everyone's house, which is ridiculous. And of course, I accidentally walked off the carpet, so they got on mad at me. Whatever. I got yelled at. But we walk in, there's carpets everywhere. They got seats all on the sides. They got carpet all on the walls, like just statues from like Egypt, Rome. Like the dude was just like going on Craigslist and saying, yeah, I want, I want all these rare artifacts just in my crib, like what's good, right? The dude had like hand carved ceilings, which like the ceilings was, were split up into like 16 squares. And the air, all the full on ceiling was like hand carved, right? Then we go to the next room. And the next room, I think, was just a dining hall, which it just a long table with a bunch of flags everywhere, and like the whole the whole roof also or the whole ceiling also hand carved and whatnot. Whenever you're walking through these rooms, they're pretty much got spirals going on that leads to like the second, probably third floor, probably a basement. I didn't even look in there because we got the we got the base the base rate model of the tour. And then after that, right, then we go and we we're, we're looking into the other rooms, and then we go into the next. We go into the movie theater, and they had a sneaking movie theater. I don't even know how long ago this was, so they probably. Did have, the dude had a telephone, he had a movie theater, so he was probably a before his time because he had a newspaper and he was a millionaire. But I mean, it was pretty cool. And then we go, after that, we go and we see, he has like an outdoor tennis court, which is, okay, cool, whatever. But in the middle where the, where the, the what do you call them, the nets are, he has like clear blocks underneath it, which put natural light underneath it, which had an underground pool. So. Homeboy had an underground pool underneath the tennis court, but then like the, the these clear blocks that built the tennis court lit up the pool. Pretty cool. There was a lot of there was a lot of naked statues everywhere. Lots of naked statues everywhere. There was also a statue there that I'm pretty sure they they copied the Nike sign after. I could be wrong. Now the first the first time I went there when I was younger, they told me that, but I they didn't tell us that this time, so I could be wrong. I think it's so funny when you're just talking to a camera, right? And I, I could care less. I will talk to a camera in front of the public or everybody. Wait, I just had like two people walk by and they, they did not break like eye contact with my body. They were staring at me the whole time when I was walking by. This is like, I was still talking like, I'm a YouTuber, bro. I am not a YouTuber, I'm a vlogger, bro. That's a nice thing. I don't care about that. Like people walk by, I'm just like, keep talking, keep talking to the camera. So last night at nine o'clock, I saw the Thor Love and Thunder premiere. Like, so they normally release it the night before. It does come out and I was lucky enough to go watch it the night before. And I really loved it because if you didn't know, I'm a huge Marvel fan. I'm a huge like Star Wars fan. I'm, I'm a huge nerd when it comes to Marvel, Star Wars, and even Disney. Like I'll, I'll go to the midnight premieres or just the premieres of all those. And it wasn't too bad. I would say that Ragnarok was a better one than uh, than Thor Love and Thunder, but I still like them both. Now I do wish there was more of Gore the God Butcher because he's like one of my all time favorite like villains besides Doctor Doom. He's like one of my favorite villains in comics. Him, I guess I would say Galactus too. There's a bunch of other ones. It was pretty cool. I would give it a thumbs up. I would definitely recommend to go see that. It was really cool. It was really fun. There was a lot of laughs. There's a lot of interesting things going on in the movie, right? So doing a live stream once a week, whether we do it on every Saturday, which I won't be doing. It's going to be something like every Monday or every Wednesday. Those are just the days that work best for my schedule with live streaming too. So if we do live stream, we could go longer than an hour, two hours, three hours and whatnot. And I won't be live streaming at my office, which means that we won't be making sneakers on live stream. It'll be more like clothing, 
we could do accessories, cool stuff like that. Maybe even drawings. We could do drawings. I do a lot of artwork, which would be that. Actually, that would be fun. Is if we if I brought in my drawing pad and I teach. Not even teach. Just show you guys how I draw, how I make artwork. Now that's today's story. If you want to see me make pants tomorrow, tune in on Saturday. I'm gonna be live streaming. I don't know how long I'm gonna be live streaming. Hopefully, I'm gonna be streaming for a long time because I got strong Wi-Fi tomorrow, which means that we could go all day, every day. You could also let me know what else you want to see on the live stream. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications. If you like, subscribe, and if you turn on notifications, it really helps out my channel, and it helps out this video, which means that we could grow, and I could do like cooler stuff than just talk to the camera on the beach, even though being on the beach is really cool, but. Yeah. What's those other big Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Check this video out right here. Boop.